This here, this wonderful, glorious specimen of musicality is the Besson Prestige BE2056 model baritone. It is considered by many to be the pinnacle of brass band style baritones. It is a fantastic instrument with a number of features that you just don't get in uh, lesser quality instruments. Starting with the most obvious, the four valve compensating system. It is exactly like the Besson's uh, professional grade euphoniums and it's got the same four valve compensating system. Obviously the bore is a little bit smaller because it's a baritone and not a euphonium. It has these lovely gorgeous inlays on the uh, finger buttons, it has gold accenting on the valve caps, finger buttons and spit valves and it has a very highly embellished uh, stamp on the bell. It is a lovely instrument. I also just quickly forgot to mention that the lead pipe, one of the things that uh, Besson started doing a little while ago was to have the lead pipe separated from the bell. This isn't directly soldered to the bell. There are a couple of little braces, one here and obviously the main brace up here, that keeps the lead pipe separated from the bell. One of the questions that you may have is why does a baritone of all things need a fourth valve. In the brass band world, baritones don't often get notes that you would need a fourth valve for, so if you're not aware, the fourth valve adds a perfect fourth to your range, so there are a few notes that you can't physically play with a three valve instrument, and this fourth valve does help you to get them, such as this. <laughs> The second reason why this instrument might have a fourth valve is to assist with tuning. There are a lot of notes that you can play with multiple different fingering combinations and having a fourth valve opens up a whole new range of alternate fingerings. And each of those fingerings have a sl slightly subtly different effect on the tuning of the instrument. So talking through the, the partials of the harmonic series, if we tune our first harmonic and second harmonic and fourth harmonic, so our octaves, so that they are in tune, those ones are in tune, but our third partial is flat by about 10 cents, our fourth partial is, is in tune, that's our octave again, fifth is about 35 cents flat, sixth is about 20 cents flat, and then eighth, which is again our octave, is again 30 cents flat. It's woeful. I usually don't mind telling an instrument that is bad that it's bad, but I'm aware that this is a very expensive, professional, top competition grade instrument, and I'm not a professional top instrument grade player. So for me to say that this instrument's bad when it's better than I am, uh, is I'm a little bit weary of doing that. I'm happy to say a $40 trumpet is rubbish because you sort of expect it to be, but I didn't expect the tuning on this to be quite as bad as what it is. Um, and so I just want to caveat and say that I absolutely stand by the results that I've got in terms of practice here in the home, sitting with a tuner and seeing the results from those uh, harmonic series. I did the tests a heap of times. I changed the mouthpieces and things like that and got very similar results each time. That being said, the experience of practicing at home is hugely different from the experience of practicing in context with a band. Uh, your embouchure is going to be different, your seating position may be different, you may hold the instrument differently, your instrument may be warmer or colder, uh, your dynamics may be louder or quieter than what you practice. All of that contributes to a different uh, experience. And so whilst I believe that the results that I've obtained here with the tuning of this instrument are poor, that doesn't necessarily mean the instrument is going to perform poorly elsewhere. Uh, the other thing that I personally don't like about this instrument is that the way that the extra tubing on the back of the valve block is uh, wrapped is a lot more sort of erect and pert compared to what you get with a euphonium. And so where you put your thumb to brace against the valves is actually quite tight. And so I have to sort of fit my thumb in there and sort of curve it into place and it's not particularly comfortable. If I had to play this instrument regularly, I'd get a bit annoyed with having to do that. So all that in mind, thank you very much for watching.